Think I only want one number in my phone I might change your contact, don't leave me alone Said you like my eyes and you like to make them roll So I was debating between Reggie and Delilah's Year of Falling or the final offer but I have the final offer on my Kindle as well as the um, hard copy because I have the hard copy of the fine print and terms and conditions, which the spines are different. Um, you know, publishing things, I'm pretty sure, but I don't really care if the spines are the same. Sue me. I don't, y'all. I truly don't care if spines are the same. But yeah, I read the first chapter when I first got it and I just read the second chapter yesterday and I was like, I want to read Reggie and Delilah. But then I said, you know what? Let me just go ahead and finish the final offer. It is like 580 pages long. I'm on spring break, so I'll have, it's a thick book and I have a lot of time to read it. So yeah, let me just go ahead and eat this book up for real. I kind of, I kind of want to explain my history with the dreamland billionaire series let me go get the books like y'all are gonna hate me because the spines are definitely not the same um this is not my fault though but please don't care too much so a little bit of backstory a little bit of history i read terms and conditions first because i did not hear as many good things about the fine print and they can be read as standalones so i read terms and conditions first and i loved it so much so that i was like i don't know what everybody's talking about I am going to read the fine print. I gave terms and conditions um, four stars and I gave the fine print three stars. I did not enjoy the fine print. Every turns out everybody was right. Um, I did not enjoy the fine print as much as I enjoyed, enjoyed terms and conditions. The fine print, the structure, I love the characters. I love these characters. Let's just start off and say that. I love the characters. It was nothing about that. It was just the structure of the fine print I didn't really vibe with. But yeah, so I have these books and you know, I wanted to continue the series so I have the third book and I'm on chapter three and it's it's good so far I like it um I have no complaints I'm only 20 pages in though so yeah I have no complaints I think I'm really going to like this one just because it's the final in the series and I feel like when authors put out like more books in a series the writing and the structure of the book can only get better so I think I'm really going to enjoy this one although I am scared of the length um I have all spring break so I think I'm really going to enjoy it. Um, the final offer. If you're hesitant about reading the series and you have Kindle Unlimited, I recommend just getting it on Kindle Unlimited. Um, if I would have had Kindle Unlimited at the time, I would have just read it on there and then I probably wouldn't have bought the books. But I will say I am glad that I have the books just because I love the characters so much. They mean a lot to me. So I'm glad that I have it in my possession. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I'm excited to read the final offer and document my experience with it um I you know I don't care about the spines but I do hate the difference between the thickness of the books but yeah um ooh, yeah let's get started I'll put these back okay so I came to a stopping point on page 63 and I wanted to give some like early thoughts because I'm gonna wait until I got 100 pages in but I don't want to forget the things that I want to say. So first I want to state that the writing in the final offer is a lot more developed. It's a lot more mature in my opinion compared to the other two books which I am very happy about. And then I also wanted to say, hold on, find out. You find out the first chapter so it's not a spoiler um, but I wanted to say that the child in this book is adorable. Um, I was nervous because like like children in books, it gives me Wattpad, it gives me Wattpad vibes, but um, I'm obsessed with her and I think that she is so adorable. You know that sound that's like, um, blah, 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 it's Abby Lee, and then all of a sudden I hear this aggravating, degrading, yeah, that is the, the Kane brothers' father <sighs> in every book. <laughs> in every book I swear I'm like every time he shows up I'm like like why are you talking to me literally why does he speak nobody asks you for your opinion nobody asks you for your comment bestie one thing that is bothering me and I think it's really only bothering me because it's happening so frequently is like them talking to themselves like 
um, they'll say something and it'll be in italics and then they'll respond to themselves or like it'll be in italics and it's just like a thought that they have. And it happens with both Alana and Cal. I don't know if it's Alana or Elena, but I like saying Alana, so I'm probably gonna keep saying Alana. I'll put in some like examples of it happening, but it's just happening so frequently with both of them that it's kind of just making me just like, oh my God, I don't know. It's just like irking me. This is probably a bit of a spoiler, so I don't wanna give too much information about what happened but if you want nothing to know about the book this is like it's not a spoiler it's just something weird but if you don't want to know like anything like you don't even want to know a sentence out of the book skip this part but this part really isn't like that big to say it's a spoiler but why did Wyatt is her best friend and also her um other best friend's husband so why did he tell Cal? He was trying to make Cal jealous or mad. So why did he tell Cal? He was like, maybe I'll just go F Al Alana instead. You have a whole wife. Why would you even make a joke like that? Personally, that did not sit right with me. You're not funny. You're not that guy, Wyatt. It is the next day. Um, I... If you read this, I just got to page 200. So you know how I'm feeling. I'm feeling all the feels. But I did want to say, I did want to state one thing. Why, I Listen, I know it's a small town and you hurt one of us, you hurt all of us, but they are literally going out of their way to bully this man. Like, leave this man alone. Like, I know it's a small town and everything and y'all know that he hurt Lana, but like, that's between him and Lana. They out their business. Leave that man alone. When he goes outside, like don't say a word to him. Like you don't gotta, you don't gotta do all that. You know what I mean? And she is a slow burn because 200 pages in, we just got, we needed. So she is a slow burn, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Lauren Asher really did step up her game with the writing though. I can't stress that enough. She, cause I don't even feel like I'm reading. Like I feel like I'm watching a movie. I feel like I'm watching a TV show. You know what I mean? Lauren. Miss Asher, you just, you really did it. You really, you really understood the assignment with this one. And I'm literally only 200 pages in. Like, I'm probably like 30% into this book. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm done. I don't want to be attacked. I don't want you guys, I don't want anyone to look into it too hard when I say this. Don't read into it too much because I was speaking about it and then I was like, this is giving a red flag. What does this say about me? But you know, sometimes things are just the way they are. So please don't um, think too hard. Cal and Alana are definitely my favorite, my favorite couple out of the series. They are my favorite. I don't know what it is. I'm only 250 pages in, but they are my favorite. Cal has got to be my favorite brother. And I don't know what that says about me, I don't know if that's a red flag like this man is literally like an alcoholic like he's 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 an alcoholic and he's my fave I don't know what it is but he is just like I think it's just because my heart hurts so bad for him and I love him so much because of that does that make sense <laughs> they are going to have their special places in my heart all the characters do but Cal and Alana take up a little bit more space is all I can say. But Cal just, oh, I don't know. I'm like Alana, right? She doesn't like the alcoholic Cal. She likes the Cal that she fell in love with before the drugs and the alcohol. You know what I mean? And throughout the book, we can see that Cal before the drugs and the alcohol. And that's what I'm falling in love with. That's a perfect way to explain that. I think that that's the best way I can put that. That's all I have to say about this. Um, please don't think I'm too crazy. Um, please don't think I'm weird and please don't attack me. <laughs> You're not even gonna put this in because it's not even that funny. But why she look under the bed and it's something hissed at her and I'm over here thinking it's a, like a possum or something. And it's Cal's cat. I forgot about his cat. <laughs> <laughs> he said oh that's merlin listen no hate to the cat girlies if you like cats that's cool but i am a dog girl i'm a dog person i love me some dogs cats scare me for this reason and also it's just you never know what they finna do like <laughs> there's actually kind of some light which i'm surprised about well it's the street light so i came outside to read and it's literally cold anyways i'm reading and i started tearing up i feel for lana she I can't even put into words. My heart 
goes out to her and that's what's making me sad it's just like this situation and just like everything that she's gone through with people it's just making me so sad that I literally started tearing up and then Cal started apologizing for being like a person that let her down and that just made me so sad but anyways I am chapter 30 I am almost 300 pages in and I've been reading on and off so yeah if I was just constantly reading then I'd probably be a little bit further um but I'm gonna keep reading it's bonnet Sarah I'm sorry I know you're all tired of seeing me like this I know I just want to say really quickly I just got through the first spice scene and uh, listen I don't know what it I don't uh, I know what it is it's just I'm feeling all the love I'm feeling all of their love that they have for each other and it's just really it's making me not okay because there's so many variables to them not being together and it's making me so sad I completely forgot about the will and the inheritance and that's another thing I'm gonna have to worry about every time Cal drinks my heart literally sinks out of my chest every single time it makes me so sad i just thought i just i have to keep reminding myself that they're not real so i should not actually be hurting that doesn't work though so this is my just waking up look so please don't think i look too bad i just wanted to say that i absolutely loved like the dinner scene just like having everyone come together zara iris declan rowan cal and alana having everybody come together and like as like a family kind of and eat dinner i thought that was so wholesome and cute and cammy was there obviously i thought that was so wholesome and cute to put in the book because it just feels so like full circle after reading both of their stories and then getting to the third story and just reading their love story but also like seeing everyone together i don't know it just makes my heart so happy because you've read all of their stories and so now you're getting to you know see them interact with like the last story um interact in the last story and so i just really like that um i found that very like i don't know i find it wholesome and just very full circle and i'm glad that that's in the book but yeah i want to finish this today and then i will give my full thoughts um i'm thinking of giving it five stars and yeah like i don't really have any problems with this book i know i was saying some things were annoying in the beginning but i mean i still find those things annoying but that doesn't mean it's not a five star read i still enjoy this book so i think i'm gonna it's gonna be a five star book for me and I'm very happy about that because I haven't given any of her books five stars in this series and I'm gonna start Wrecked. Now I, I don't want to be done with Lauren Asher so I want to read Wrecked but I don't want to change my TBR for this month. Yo, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. 26 billion dollars. <laughs> 26 billion dollars. No. No. <gasps> 26 billion dollars. There's no way. Oh my god, I can't breathe. I truly can't breathe. I knew they were billionaires, y'all, but ooh, 26 billion dollars. Don't talk to me unless you're Callahan Kane. <laughs> I'm not even done yet. I'm literally, I think I have like two or three chapters left. I'm not even done. And my heart is already, and my heart is literally already pounding out of my chest. Like it is shimmering with happiness and giggles and laughs and love and glitter and sequence and everything like mm. <laughs> i'm so sorry i callahan kane callahan kane oh this is my new book boyfriend it changes every time i read a romance but don't ask me about that lauren i love you i love you for this book i love you so much for this book so it's been a few hours um because i'm like the most unreliable reader ever and i could have finished this like three hours ago but it's fine let's talk i am so sad that i have finished the dreamland billionaire series i realized through this story just how much i love these characters and i do not think that i was i don't think i prepared myself for the end of their stories and now that I'm here, I'm like, oh my God. These characters have been a part of my life since, I think in my reading journal, I looked July of 2022. 
and I did not prepare for the end that was to come after I finished this. I didn't even think about it. Just not reading their stories anymore did not even cross my mind. And so now I'm like, I didn't prepare myself for the end. And now I'm at the end and I'm like, oh my God. Um, but yeah, she did an amazing job writing this. For a 500 page um, romance novel, it, it was a journey and she did an amazing job structuring and she did an amazing job with the storytelling that like 500 pages was absolutely necessary for this book. And that is a lot coming from me because I am not a over four max four I'm a max 400 page girly like if it's over 400 pages and it's a romance I'm a little skeptical but this deserved every single every single part of this book deserved to be in it there was just so much oh, I don't even yeah there was just so much about this story that still needs to be told that was told and I think that the character development throughout the series it was just phenomenal and so I am so I it feels bittersweet to be ending this but she has more books coming out and she has books that she's already published but this series truly does it holds a place in my heart so I'm so sad that I've like finished with their stories um I enjoyed the journey of the book the most so yeah um miss asher did a phenomenal job with this book anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you subscribe and turn the bell on so you never miss another reading vlog from me because that's literally all i know how to do is post a reading vlog that's all i have to say see you guys in the next one bye